Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW HADR tutorial part 13. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to reinitialize your standby at quantum speed. Okay, that is just for fun. Um, so how to reinitialize standby as quickly as possible. Um, so the scripts that I'm using, the data files that are there are freely available for download at db 2 lewacademyblogspotin Please subscribe to my channel youtube.com slash db 2 academy my email id db 2 academy at gmail.com This slide talks about the problem scenario and the solution. So the problem scenario is we want to demonstrate how to reinitialize standby as quickly as possible. Okay. So uh, there are three things involved. So one is like you, you might want to do this uh, maybe your standby is lagging behind the primary, like the, the log gap is really becoming huge or it's a slow replay condition or it the, for some reason the standby crashed so it's better, to, you feel it's better to uh, reinitialize. The, there can be multiple reasons for the reinitialization of the standby so which I don't want to get into. Um, so th the point of the tutorial is to minimize the restore uh, time or minimize how the, the entire process. So it's not about specifically about the restore time. So it's about, see, you'll have to take a fresh backup of the primary and you'll have to transfer it over the network if uh, the primary and standby does not have a shared location like that. So you might have to uh, in involve, there might be involvement of transfer time <clears throat> and there is a restore time. And the solution that I'm trying to give you here is do the backup, transfer and restore on the fly. So like it's like over the network. So it needs a very highly reliable network. Uh, between the primary and the standby. Now, the, the, the solution is very simple. So you, you can back up your database to something called as a named pipe in Unix, uh, which is a local named pipe. Uh, remote uh, named pipes are not supported. So in order to overcome that, what I'm doing is back up to a local named pipe, transfer the contents of the named pipe over SSH to the standby server and restore from the named pipe in the standby. Uh, and obviously this named pipe, this is only in Unix flavors. This works only in Unix flavors. The, the type of named pipe that we are, that I'm demonstrating here. Um, there are other ways to speed up the, the thing. Obviously that's the file system or snapshot uh, level restore. Like there is a snapshot backup that you can take, which is at a file system level, but that involves a lot of advanced configuration and uh, specialized storage products and other things. So this is like, Okay, we have a basic uh, DB2 configuration, no advanced setup or anything. So how can we efficiently do things? So that that's the way it uh, that's the way it is here. It, it's a very specific case, I'm saying. Okay, so without much further delay, so let's get into the uh, into the uh, demonstration of that. So here I have my uh, system. So this is a open SUSE. So this is like a, a open source version of uh, SUSE Linux Enterprise. So this is open SUSE. So here I already have, let me show you, the, the HDR and everything is already set up and running. So I go to my primary and I, I'll show you that. Um, okay. So it's primary. What, okay. It says disconnected. Um, Okay, so this is my primary system. Okay, and let's go to the let's go to the standby and uh, look at that. So, so this is the I'm using CentOS as my standby system. Okay, um, yeah. So the standby is not not there currently, so it's not active, uh, which is what. I wanted, I want, I'm going to initialize it, right? So I wanted to do that. So, uh, so what I'm going to do is I just first remove uh, the thing. It's already there. So I'm just going to remove that. So first thing you need to do is to create the FIFO that this is the named pipe that we are creating on the primary. Just go ahead and just hit, that's it. So RM will just remove the named uh, pipe. MKFIFO will just create the named pipe. So we have created the named pipe. And what, so this named pipe should be there in both the primary and the standby system. So let's go to the standby system and run 
the same command so i think obviously it's it's already there because so i'm just going to remove that and i'm recreating it just to show you that the the command works this way okay so we have created named pipes in that path in both the primary system and the standby system okay and this is the command for the backup all in one shot db2 backup db db name online so i don't the primary is online to uh, that particular location this location is your named pipe location pipe that to cat uh, home db2 nst1 stream and ssh use the ssh protocol db2 nst1 at the rate cost v box this is my standby system and cat redirect it to the named pipe which is at the standby that's it one single simple command you can run you, you need to run this on primary obviously so paste it hit enter db2 inst1 hit enter and it's going to wait so it's not going to do anything right away and all you need to do is go to your standby system and restore from that particular named pipe paste that hit enter yes i mean, it's it's an existing database so it it shows that i could have even dropped the database and done it so it's, it shouldn't be a matter shouldn't be uh, a bother botheration so um okay so let the restore complete so once the restore gets complete you can see that in the primary it's still going on it's taking the backup it's streaming it to the uh, to the named pipe and we are reading from the named pipe and over ssh it is getting transferred to that stream and it is completed and you will see that there is no backup file here like we took the backup but we directly streamed it to the named pipe so there is no file here and also in the receiving side it's done so the restore is done and all i need to do is start it as standby obviously and then okay <clears throat> okay started as standby it's it became standby and you can see i am also removing the and i am also removing the file stream you don't need it and uh, there is no backup file so that's it so let's run the standby command standby peer connected so it was remote catch up pending initially yeah after some time it came into peer state and it got connected so this is the quickest way like everything happens on the fly over the network so you need a really really highly reliable network without any downtime between those two machines and uh, that is there um that's it so um so obviously i'm excluding the file system snapshot another snapshot i think already i have uh, spoken about the uh, spoken about the uh, ability to backup and restore from named pipes uh, this is not specific to hadr or something so it can be done even for a regular databases uh, like non hadr databases as well but um, the 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 ssh transfer and connecting those two streams of named pipe will really help us in reinitializing the standby so that's a, that that's the that's the really the tip that i wanted to provide and um, that's it so that's it in this video tutorial hope this information was useful to you please subscribe to my channel and thanks to all the subscribers for watching this video uh, and also for the new people who are watching this video thanks for watching this video uh, see you uh, in the next video tutorial until then bye bye